Hey math students, I hope you're having a great day. We're going to learn about the sine ratio today. And the goal on this problem is to find this missing side length. What's this missing side length and this missing side length. So the first thing you want to realize is that this is a right triangle. So for this problem, it's going to be a right triangle. And that's what this marking means right here. It means that this angle measure right here is 90 degrees. Now, the next thing you want to know is this angle measure shaded in blue right here measures 15 degrees. And this is not drawn to scale. Um, just keep that in mind. And I'm going to highlight this angle because this is the angle we are going to be referencing right here. The, for now, that's going to change a little bit later. And you should also notice that this side length is 12 centimeters. So let's go ahead now and use the concept of the sine ratio. And that I know that sounds confusing, but what it really means is the following. The sine of an angle just means that you take the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. It's just a ratio. So first thing you want to do is label your triangle. And I always find the hypotenuse first. The hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right triangle. So the longest side here, we have three sides. Hopefully you can visually see this is the longest side. That's always your hypotenuse. So I'm going to call this H hypotenuse right here. So this is my hypotenuse. It's length is 12 centimeters. Another way to find out the hypotenuse is it's the side always across from the right angle. That's another way to find it. Now, the next thing I need to label is the opposite side. And the opposite side depends on which angle you're looking at. Now, since I'm referencing this angle, not the 90 degree angle, but this angle, the 15 degree angle, the side opposite of this angle is the side furthest away from 15 degrees. Well, the side probably, I should probably say the side farthest away from 15 degrees would be this side right here. The side farthest away, it's all the way across from this angle here. It's this side length right here. So this is my opposite side. Now this, this can change. I'm going to put OPP for opposite. Remember the opposite side is dependent on which angle you are referencing. Now once I've labeled these sides, I can plug some numbers into this. So watch how I do this. On a calculator, sign is just SIN. And when I say of the angle, I'm referring to the angle I referenced here, which is 15 degrees. So I'm going to replace this angle with 15 degrees from right here. And this little circle means degrees, by the way. That equals the length of the opposite side. Well, that's this length. And I don't know this length, so I'm going to call this length x. So I'll replace this, the length of the opposite side, with an x because I don't know it divided by the length of the hypotenuse, which is given, right? That's 12 centimeters right here. So I'll replace this with 12. And now I just need to solve this equation, and I have this side length right here. So the sine of 15, if you do that on a calculator, I'm going to bring up my calculator. Let me clear this. And you just punch in sine right here of 15. Now, you want to make sure it says degrees here. Sometimes it says radians. If it says radians here, just go to mode, go down here, and make sure the degrees are highlighted. Now, I punched in. Let me do that again. Sine 15. Close my parentheses. Now, I get this decimal. I'm going to round it to the nearest hundredth. So, I'm going to write 0 0.26. Or... Your teacher might say 0 0.25 is okay, but I'm going to bump that 5 to a 6. So it's going to be 0 0.26. I'm not going to worry about the rest of the numbers. So the sine of 15 was 0 0.26 equals x divided by 12. Now I just need to solve this equation for x. And you should see that the x is divided by 12. How do I undo division? Well, I just multiply. So I'll multiply both sides by 12 here and here. The 12s drop off and x 
equals, well, what's 12 times 0 0.26? Let me just punch that into my calculator. I got 3.12, and that's centimeters. So this side length here is 3.21 centimeters, right here. So I'm going to erase this now, and now I know it's 3.12 because I solved for x. So let's put in a 3.12. Right here. Now the goal now is to find this side length. So I'm going to clean all this stuff out here. We're going to kind of like start over. Because we have one more side length to find. I'm actually going to clear this out as well. I'm going to clear out this. Let me get my eraser though. And I don't want to highlight the 15 anymore. I'm just, I'm going to leave that 15 in there. That's very important, but I'm not going to highlight it. Now I need to find this side length and there's more than one way to do this. You can use other trig ratios. There's the cosine and the tangent, but the goal of this video is to just use the sine ratio the whole time. You can even use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But again, I want to show you how to use the sine ratio again to find the side length. So keep in mind, there's more than one way to do this. So what I need to do now is find this angle measure right here. I want to reference this angle now right here. Kind of color that in in blue. What would this angle measure be? Remember when you add up the three inside angles of a triangle, it always totals to 180. So to find this angle, I just go 180 minus 90 minus 15. Let's see, what's 180 minus 90? That's 90, and 90 minus 15 is 75. So this has to be 75 degrees. I, again, I just went 180 minus 90 from here. This is a 90 degree angle minus this angle is 15 degrees. That equals 75 degrees. And you can check that. If you add these three angles up, 90 plus 15 plus 75, you'll get 180. Now I'm going to reference this angle and use the sine again. So we're referencing this angle instead of this angle. So let's go ahead through the same process. Now, the hypotenuse doesn't change. This will always be the hypotenuse because this is the longest side of this right triangle. But now I'm referencing this angle. So which side is opposite of this angle? angle right here. Well, now it's this one. That's very important to understand. This is my opposite now. I'll write the whole word in. So that's so important to see if we're referencing this angle, this is my opposite side. If we're referencing this angle, this is my opposite side. Now we're referencing the 75 degrees and we want to find this length. We don't know it. So now instead of calling it X, I'll call this Y. I'll call this length Y right here. And let's just punch in our number. So it's the sine of, well, the angle here in this case is 75 degrees. So I'll replace this with 75 equals the length of the opposite side, which is this side now. And we don't know it. This is a question mark, so I'm going to call it y. So I'll replace the opposite side with y divided by the length of the hypotenuse, which is still 12 right here. So I'm going to replace the hypotenuse with a 12. And now I'm just going to solve like I did before. Let's punch into our calculator the sine of 75. Sine 75. I'm going to round to the nearest hundredth. So I'm going to write 0 0.97. Now again, you could probably write 0 0.96, but I'm going to bump this 6 to a 7. So it's 0 0.97. So the sine of 75 is 0 0.97 equals y divided by 12 and just solve this. So we'll multiply both sides by 12 like we did earlier. I'll multiply this side by 12 so these drop off and this side by 12. These drop off and y equals, well let's do that real quick, 12 times 0 0.97 equals 11.64. And that's this side length right here. So let's erase this. 
and this side length here is 11.64 centimeters. And that was the goal, to find this side length and this side length. We have done that, and we did it by using the sine ratio. There are other ways to do this. Have a great day.